Hi everyone, welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley. I'm the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Today we're going to talk about productivity tools, tools that will make your life a little bit easier with transferring files, some browser plugins and things like that that'll make uh, life much easier uh, as you move files around and uh, capture content and so on. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about uh, is a uh, tool called WeTransfer. Uh, WeTransfer.com. I do have all of these uh, applications listed uh, in the description uh, of this uh, video right underneath it. Uh, but the first tool we want to look at is WeTransfer.com. This is good for transferring large file sizes. Um, and it's a free account. Uh, you can't upgrade if you're moving uh, uh, more uh, files. Uh, they make their money off of ads here, as you can see. Uh, so if I want to send my video to someone, uh, and I'll put in one of my other email addresses here. And I could type in a little message underneath if I wanted to. And then select my file that I want to send off my desktop. And this would be, you know, a large video file, something that I just couldn't, you know, attach to an email real quickly uh, and, and just send to somebody. Um, so I'll capture this little video here. Hit open. And then once it shows up up here at the top, I'm ready to hit transfer. And it takes a minute or two, you know, once you reach 100% on this, you can always go into your email address uh, and see uh, if it shows up there uh, in your uh, email. Uh, as you can see, this is one I sent a little earlier, it shows up. Uh, it stays up there for about a week uh, and, you know, you can open it up and, and uh, 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 download the file. Um, it gives you a link. Uh, it also gives you just a little button here that you can hit as well. Um, so really good for uh, transferring large video and audio files, uh, other uh, files that may be too big to uh, work with, uh, you know, Dropbox or uh, Google Drive, or, you know, if you're just not comfortable using those. Uh, I usually give this to students, you know, who have to move a lot of videos around, things like that, uh, that maybe don't have server space or something like that. Uh, again, just a quick little uh, uh, friendly hack tool. Another good one is keepvid.com. Uh, this one's been around for a long, long time. Uh, this one allows you to convert uh, video files. Um, so if I wanted to take a video or uh, a piece of audio, I can convert it to a different file type, compress the video. It does do some basic editing, but you know, it's kind of so-so editor. I would uh, use you know, Final Cut or Adobe Premiere for that. Uh, but still, you know, if you're in a pinch and, you know, you only have a browser available to you, uh, that would be a good place or a good tool for you to do some basic edits in. Um, you can upload your file into it. Um, you can do your adjustments here. If I want to convert it to a different file, it gives me, you know, maybe I just want to strip the audio out of it real quickly as an MP3. I can just strip the you know, teaser music out of this as an MP3. Or I can go in and download it and, you know, I want it as a Windows Media file. Uh, and then hit start now. Uh, you can adjust your resolution on this or you can hit compress and, and compress the file size if you wanted to. And I'll just let this stew here. We'll go back to it. Uh, it takes a little bit of time for it to convert. Uh, and in the interest of time, uh, we will uh, go and do uh, a few other things. So um, we'll come back to keep it. Another tool I wanted to share with you uh, is toby.com. This is a tool that you can go in and install into your browser as a plugin. It's this little pink T in the upper right hand corner of my browser window here, which is where uh, all my browser plugins reside. And I'm a big fan of plugins and make life a lot easier for you. What Toby does is helps you manage all of your tabs in a post. Uh, as you can see here, um, I've got all of my tabs that are open on this uh, window right over here on the right. Um, and in here, I've got all of these different uh, uh, collections that I've created um, and this one is for me setting up Google webinars and I can just hit this little open 32 tabs and open all 32 of these tabs if I wanted to or I can click on each one individually uh, and they'll open up in my browser window so if I wanted to open this Google Drive I would just hit that tab and it opens up right over here on the right um, which is really nice you know if you're trying to set up uh, for uh, you know, a presentation or something, and you know you have a lot of tabs, you don't want to have to type each one in or go through your browser uh, window history and find them. Uh, it's very easy to build one of these. Um, you just hit the little plus sign down here. I'd ask you to title your collection, it's called, and uh, uh, I'll just call this one Practice 2. 
and hit the turn. And then whatever files I want to move over, t uh, tabs I want to move over in there, um, I can just grab it and move it over uh, into my browser window. So let's say I wanted to move grab this YouTube video and drag it up there um, and just drop it right in. And there it goes. I can also drag it in, drag something into an existing one uh, as well. Um, and uh, you know you can manage all of your tabs. You can also delete them out if you just hover over it and hit the X button uh, right above it. Um, so really handy little tool, toby.com, and then you just install it. It asks you if you want to install it in your browser window uh, as a plugin. You say yes, uh, and then anytime you hit, uh, click on and activate Toby, uh, anytime you open a new tab, uh, bingo, uh, you've got uh, your whole collection of bookmarks, uh, which is a really nice little feature. Toby saves me a ton of time. Uh, keep vid, going back to that. Uh, I can hit download now and download uh, the file that I just uh, converted. So, um, you know, again, uh, just go and do some other work and manage your time. And, you know, you too can have uh, a nice little uh, video conversion uh, in, right there in your browser. Uh, a couple other of my favorite tools are the Chrono Download Manager. Um, uh, Chrono just sits right up here. I installed it from the Google Chrome Store. Um, and uh, it sits right up here. Uh, allows you to download uh, uh, past uh, downloads. You can download them again. This is a piece of software that I downloaded this morning. Uh, let's say I didn't have a good uh, uh, download with it. It didn't work too well for me. I can re-download it here. It's kind of like bookmarking uh, past downloads. Uh, Chrono also uh, has a little noise uh, anytime you do download something and it arrives in your uh, downloads folder. Uh, it's a good little cue and a little, there's a little pop-up menu uh, and notification that comes with it. Uh, that you did indeed receive that uh, file, uh, which is really uh, a cool little feature. Another tool is called Awesome Screenshot. Um, it's this one right here, Awesome Screenshot Plugin. It works for Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. Uh, and let's say it, you know I've got a web page that I want to do a screenshot of, and I can just click on Awesome Screenshot. It's got some setup uh, stuff that you can do with this. Uh, also a sign-in. It is free. Um, you can uh, capture just the visual part of your screen, full page, or just a selected area. You can just paint on here if it's just one thing you want to capture. Um, always keep copyright in mind, too. You know, usually it's people that want to just download their own stuff. Maybe you've got a story that you want to archive as a PDF or a JPEG. Um, you know, I can just select full page here. Uh, it'll take a while for it to capture, uh, but it's uh, scrolling through the page and capturing it. Then it'll drop it into a little window for you. Uh, into this little awesome screenshot editing window. Uh, and you can actually draw on it. It gives you a bunch of tools up here. You know, I can crop it uh, and then just hit download uh, when you're all done with it. Uh, and you've got your, uh, uh, you've got your screenshot, um, which is really nice little feature. It's easy, really easy way uh, to capture uh, a page. So um, and there it is. And you just hit the download button there. Uh, and you've got your nice screenshot. Really easy way to do it. Nice high resolution. Uh, you know, makes your site that you're capturing you know, look, look beautiful. Uh, looks really, really good. Okay, so there's a, a little uh, a warning uh, win window there uh, that you get uh, with the download manager. Uh, it comes through. Um, uh, downloading Twitter uh, videos. A um, couple good tools for that are at GetVideoBot on Twitter and at DownloaderBot. Um, and these are two, uh, that, you know, I would advise following them on Twitter. Um, the way Get Video Bot works is if you go and find maybe somebody tweeted something and you really like the video, uh, I, I usually hit reply uh, underneath it, uh, and then I do at Get Video Bot, please download video. I also ask the author of that video if, it's, if I have their permission uh, to use it, if it's their video. And I, I say, hey, you know, I'd like to use this or remix it or edit it into another piece of video. Uh, can you please uh, give me permission? And also ask at Get Video Bot. Uh, what Get Video Bot does is gives you a little web page to go to then where that video is downloadable. Um, drops it into a separate page you can download it as you know, 1080p, 720p. Um, so you just tag it basically in, in the video. Tell at Get Video Bot uh, what you want. Uh, it, Downloader Bot works the same way uh, at Downloader Bot. Um, if you just tag a video uh, and ask it, um, you know the Threader app uh, works the same uh, same way. 
Uh, but either one of these will help you download video from Twitter, which can be frustrating uh, uh, sometimes. Um, so those are two quick little uh, uh, Twitter tools to do that. The last one I want to talk about here uh, is called uh, the Loom Screen Recorder. Um, and right now I'm uh, not using it. Uh, I'm actually using uh, the uh, QuickTime Video uh, Player uh, app to record this. Uh, so I can demo Loom for you. If I was using Loom, I couldn't demo it. Um, so uh, this is another little uh, browser plugin. Uh, you can just look for it uh, in the uh, App Store or the uh, Google Chrome Store uh, and uh, upload it. It's free. Um, and it's this little uh, uh, icon here, this little orange icon. It's called Loom for Chrome. And once I click on it, it gives me a little workspace and allows me to record screen, in, uh, uh, screen plus your cam. And it gives you your little image down here in the lower right. Um, you know, you can change the size of it. Oh, my God, way too big. Um, and uh, it, move it around on the screen, too, or I can delete it. Um, I can record screen only or just cam only if I want to. Um, I usually have full desktop selected. You could also hit just current tab if you're just going to talk about something in one tab. But I like to skip around so that, that I can record everything. Um, you hit start recording, um, and it asks you to select, you know, the full screen, kind of like uh, you would do in Zoom when you're setting up Zoom's uh, screen sharing. And you hit share. It'll give you a nice little countdown. And then as soon as it, the countdown stops, uh, your picture will show up here and you can start talking and it'll start recording you uh, and whatever you have on your screens. So you can jump around and, you know, you can go in and talk about your website or whatever you want to do. Um, and, uh, you know, you just hit stop sharing down here um, to uh, stop recording. So um, if you uh, want to find more productivity tools, um, I strongly encourage you to go to the Journalist Toolbox, journalisttoolbox.org. Uh, this little productivity tab right here. It also sometimes appears in recent updates. You can search productivity here um, and also find it in our browser window under digital journalism. Um, and you'll find all kinds of really cool little apps and uh, tools there that will help you do your job much, much, much easier. Um, so, yeah, there is productivity tools. So you can open it up that way and, and uh, have a nice little uh, experience. So I'm going to hit stop sharing now on Loom. Uh, and it will save my video. The recording URL is in your clipboard. It actually sends you a little notification. Um, it'll take a second for it to, uh, 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 to uh, uh, finish downloading. Uh, you can copy the link. You can add a password, invite people. It does have some basic editing in it. Um, I, I wouldn't uh, you know, advise using that. Um, you can move it to a Google folder or download it uh, once it's uh, fully uh, uploaded to this uh, site here. Uh, or just, you know, link to it, um, however you want to handle it. Um, so that's Loom. Um, and again, these productivity tools, which are listed in the description of this video, uh, please take time to uh, work with them. Uh, once you get efficient at them, uh, we'll have many more for you in, in future trainings as well. But once you get efficient at these, uh, you know, uh, they'll make your life a lot, lot easier. So uh, tune in again. We'll have some more productivity tools coming in the next few weeks.